Hey everybody, welcome back to Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Today we are making banana bread in my bread machine. Let's get started on today's video. On today's video, we are going to make some banana bread in my bread machine. As a lot of people are dealing with extreme heat, the so last thing I want to do is heat up my oven, heat my kitchen up. So, I pulled out the old bread machine and we are going to be making some banana bread. I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe. It's a simple one and if you have a bread machine, pull it out, get it to going. If you don't have a bread machine, I will link in the description below the one that I'm using. I've loved it so far. It's worked really good. So let's get started getting the bread together. I'm gonna bring you over here, tilt the camera down so you can see what we're doing. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, I've got some butter flavor cooking spray that I'm gonna spray on the bottom and around the sides. This is supposed to be nonstick, but I don't wanna take any chances, so. First thing we're gonna add is two eggs. Remember with a bread machine, you always want to add your wet ingredients first. I'm going to be adding three very ripe bananas. I'm adding four tablespoons of butter. a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm also gonna add in one of these little containers of unsweetened applesauce. Now, you don't have to add this. I'm just adding it for extra moisture to keep my uh, banana bread from being dry and to cut down on some of the butter that I'm putting in it. Okay, let's, let's start adding our dry ingredients. I'm adding about a cup of brown sugar. You could cut this way back and add, you know, a half cup, just whatever you like. I like a little bit more of a sweet banana bread. We're also gonna add two cups of flour and it's just good old fashioned all purpose. I'm adding salt baking soda and baking powder like i said all the measurements will be in the description below i'm gonna go ahead because this is a quick bread and add my pecans now you can omit nuts you can use walnuts just whatever kind of nut that you like we're gonna put it in you twist it to lock it okay i am going to let's see which one's quick hit the number two okay and then my color pounds then I want the light setting all right let's get it going so the folks over at Tykin sent me this really neat coffee craft it is a vacuum sealed it's supposed to keep your coffee hot all day long. If you know anything about me, you know I'm an avid coffee drinker. But a lot of times my coffee gets cold because I get busy doing other things. So I have been using this, making up coffee, putting my creamer in it, and then just having it in the office with me or outside. And I can get coffee anytime I want it. It does hold about a half a pot of coffee. This has been sitting here for about an hour. Mm. 
my coffee is just as hot as if we had, I just made it on the coffee maker. Y'all know I'm pretty picky about what I endorse. I would highly recommend this one. And I do have a discount code. It'll also be in the description below. This, I think, is a, a great addition to any home, anybody that works in an office, anybody who works outside, and you want a, just a hot cup of coffee, it really does what it says it's supposed to do, and it's spill-proof. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute when our banana bread is ready. So, our banana bread is ready. I'm going to take it out of the machine. Uh, look. Uh, look. Shoot, that's hot. I'm going to take my spatula and kind of go around it. I need pot rags before I burn myself. We're going to turn it upside down and we're going to let it set for just a second. Give it a chance to uh, release from the our little pan here. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Get a pot rag. <laughs> Now, the one thing I did notice, I had some extra flour that didn't mix in just super well. I'm just going to dust that off. We're going to cut this and try a little bit. Because I know you're supposed to let it cool off a little bit, but there is nothing better in this world than a warm piece of banana bread with some butter on it. The outside crust is really good. It's really hot. It's super moist, which I like a, a moist banana bread. The um, flavor of it is just perfect. You couldn't ask for a better tasting banana bread. I got my coffee. It's been about two and a half hours since we made this up. The coffee's still hot. So be sure and check out in the description the discount code and everything that comes with this. You can go look at it. They have some other pr products that I really would like to try. So anyway, thank y'all so much for joining us today on Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. We'll see you guys on the next video. It's not easy to start over I've been there a couple